What's up, what's up everyone, it's your boy Gaijin Gamer here, back with episode 6 of Put It To The Test 2021, and today we'll be running the recently buffed Jane as well as Yuria, and we'll be running Yuria as the main DPS, and then we'll also add Grimmery, as, Grimmery in as a sub DPS as well. And in this series, what we do is we go ahead and take the account and boost it all the way to the end game, clear chapter 9-23 using the principles that I've given to you in How To Be A Noob In King's Raid 2021. So without further ado, we'll grab our girl Stale, we'll go to the monthly orb, we'll grab some trinkets, and then we'll meet you over at chapter 5. See you then. Alrighty everyone, so we went ahead and we've uh, cleared up to chapter 5. Uh, one thing we'll quickly go over are some changes for the the updated heroes. So we'll, first up we'll do Yuria. So now some things that have changed with their skills, or skill 1 now ignores uh, non-hero defense which is pretty amazing, and it's also been increased 10% damage, I believe, as well as, it um, doesn't matter if it's just non-hero or not, but if, if they're affected by threatening destiny, all damage dealt uh, is ignores defense. And now that's pretty sweet, uh, especially when it comes to PvE. I'm excited to see how that goes. And now we'll move on to skill 2. Um, the only thing that's really changed here is that she gains 30% attack while the shield's up, so that's pretty insane as well. And then um, for skill 3, um, she ignores, first of all, gets magic uh, pen for the skill. And it also does additional damage if it's non-hero damage. So Yuria is pretty stacked. And then one more thing for Transcendence perks is uh, this right here. This used to be a 2% and it got bumped up to 2.5% for her uh, skill there. And um, her skill 3. And uh, yeah, she's so far... Uh, uh, freaking amazing and not to mention that uh, she might be my favorite hero that I've ran I hope she scales into the later game um, because I would love to make an account with her as my main uh, I'm really excited to be doing this run um, so next up we'll have Jane and now she changed up quite a bit as well um, so her stun her first skill the stun went up from three to five seconds which is awesome you'll be able to reduce the stun gauge of bosses or just you know your chapters a lot easier uh, next up we have the amp now this is insane so first of all it does the 25 percent amp like it used to but then every time she uses it afterwards you gets a 20 percent increase up to 125 percent total because it stacks five times for that 20 percent so this is just insane, and I, I'm just going to say now that I believe that Jane is probably the best uh, magical tank in the game as of right now. Um, we'll see if that holds true later in the run. Um, and then for the skill 3 here, um, she gains a little bit more um, survivability because she gains the CC immunity that she didn't used to have, as well as um, the stun effect right here, which is pretty nice, I have to admit. So I'm really excited to see... Um, and then she does a little bit additional damage here with her ult or her passive right here. So I'm really excited to see these two in action. Uh, so far, they have uh, definitely impressed. Uh, I can't wait for you guys to see Yura's damage here in a moment. But as you can see, we have 15,000 rubies. And uh, as per usual with these runs, we'll go ahead and do some summons. Um, for this, we'll go Grimmery, Estelle, um, Jane, and then... I think we're probably going to go Annette, because I think attack speed is going to be great for our girl, uh, Yuria. So we'll go ahead and summon these, and hopefully we get something good here. Alright, oh, right off the bat, that's not too bad. Okay, we'll see what we got. Wow, that's not too bad. Come on, hopefully it's something, oh wow, nice. Grimmery's one star weapon, that's pretty lucky. Okay, got a weapon for Estelle. These summons are uh, insane so far. So that was great. Great start to this video. Come on. Uh, okay, that's great. Here we go. What do we get? Okay, I'm not sure who's trinket. I, I want to say I'm not sure whose that is actually. Okay, got a just an artifact there. All right. No, oh, it's Annette's uh, unique treasure. Admittedly, I don't use the net as much as I should, because I usually don't run magic teams, so that's why I'm a little bit more unfamiliar. Fortunately, nothing there, but, I mean, we got a one star on our first summon, so that's not too bad. Hopefully, we get something here, uh, except for these uh, generic boys. Okay, we got something. We'll see what it is here. Oh, my gosh, again. Wow, okay. Wow, this is starting to become insane here. 
All right, so we got another. We got two one-star Grimory weapons. Okay, come on. Let's see. Okay, we got Jane's unique weapon, and we have Annette's unique weapon. All right, we're just getting unique weapons around here, so that's pretty great. Okay, generic boy. Let's see. Okay, we got Jane's best unique treasure, so that's great. Awesome. So we did awesome here. I'm excited to run this account, and I will meet you at the end of Chapter 6. Alrighty, everyone, and we made it to the uh, final boss of Chapter 6. And as you can see, Yuria is doing some pretty amazing damage. The one thing that I guess I'm worried about moving forward with her is that she, uh, with her skill 1 and skill 3, which are her main two attacks, they only target two targets which uh, ended up being quite a big uh, hurdle for Cecilia, so I'm wondering if uh, if uh, Yuri is going to fall to the same prey that she did. So I guess only time will tell, but as of right now, she is absolutely doing insane damage. I think this, uh, this non-hero damage layer that was added to her abilities are just causing them to just, just do insane amounts of damage. So she's actually extremely fun to play. So as you can see, she did 7 million on Chapter 6, and uh, yeah, she can one-shot the boss, I'm fairly certain, if she uses Skill 3 right away. So uh, yeah, without further ado, we'll go hop in and see how she does in the Trial of the Skies. Alrighty everyone, here we are at the Trial of the Sky, Rank 3, and I have a feeling it's going to be a, a walk in the park, but we're about to see. Yuria does absolutely insane damage, if you didn't know, so just something to... Uh, potentially keep your eye out for I think I'm going to do uh, an account playthrough with her and uh, yeah she's does absolutely insane damage after her buff because of the uh, non-hero damage that was added to her kit as you can see I'm just slapping up all of that as soon as they come down there it is and uh, we'll be able to kill this boss here in the next time uh, the abilities are off cooldown here. We'll put up our shield. It gives us 30% attack. Then use this. We'll see if I can't. There we go. All right, there he is. Jeez, just absolutely insane in damage. 11 million. I didn't think Pansy hit 11 million on this same trial. There you have it. I'll meet you at the end of chapter seven. Alrighty, everyone. Here we are at the end of chapter seven. Um, like I said. Uh, Yuri is absolutely insane. You can just see that by her damage that she's doing right now. It's just like literally crazy. The moment she has mana, she's just 24 million on chapter 7. This is ridiculous. The only thing I'm worried about for for the future is um, is she going to be able to scale um, the way she needs to? Because a lot of her attacks only attack a specific number of targets. And for chapter 10 and for chapter 9, it tends to be quite a few targets, and uh, I noticed it while I was doing dragons earlier as well. It's um, we'll take a look, see if that's an issue. But uh, as of right now, 28 million chapter seven. She's the queen of the chapters at the moment. It's absolutely insane, y'all. All right, I'll meet you at the end of chapter eight. Alrighty, everyone, here we are in chapter eight 26. <clears throat> One thing you want to know if you're going to play Yuria is that you'll always want to um have your shield up prior to using your abilities because it's going to target one additional target so instead of two it's going to target three now i do think for as great as she is right now she's going to struggle in chapter 10 because of the fact that she cannot target the entire map which some of the better characters in the game can i think she's going to be great for bossing however i'm, I'm interested to see what type of uh numbers people are going to put up with her when doing the world bosses um, but as you can see, like it just takes too long for these to come off cooldown. I think that she's going to pair up nicely with Audi as well. So just something to think about. Um, I know that I've seen a, a video where people are doing like, I don't know, just insane amounts of damage on the Skyle of Trial with her and Audi. So it's, it's uh, exciting to see. Let's see. As you can see, as soon as I'm able to get my cooldowns up, she just crushes all the content here. Unfortunately, we lost the cell along the way because it took us too long to finish it off. So, so there you have it. Uh, we'll move on to the DPS test. Alrighty, everyone. Here we are at Chapter 9-1, the DPS test. Like I said, I'm a little bit worried about um, Yuria's damage due to the fact that she needs, uh, or she's limited to the amount of targets she can hit with her abilities. 
as you can see, she's doing all right now, but you know she's held back by the maximum amount of targets she can hit. That's kind of a little unfortunate. I do think she's going to be really good for boss damage, uh, or the bosses, and the end game scoring content because of the fact that her attacks now, uh, one of them ignores um, the boss's defense as well as uh, they have increased non-hero damage, which is pretty nice. So as you can see, she's not doing terribly, to be 100% honest. It's just not as, you know, if she had the extra, if she had, like, the ability to hit all of the targets, it would be absolutely insane and probably a little bit broken, to be honest. Um, but as you can see, she's still doing pretty well. Um, I added Lias to the team, as well as um, Annette, just to kind of round out the team a little bit better. Um, we also have, uh, and the reason I added Lias this go round is because I was able to grab her Soul Stone uh, when I did that earlier um, in the video. Unfortunately, I didn't record it. So we've got Lias on a Soul Stone, and then um, we also added a net just for the attack speed increase because I think that would be great for uh, our girl Yuria here. But yeah, without further ado, we'll kind of jump to the jump to the end of chapter nine and see if we can uh, kill the boss. Alrighty, everyone, here we are in chapter nine dash twenty three, and um, just a few takeaways from this run so far that I've had is um, one that Yuria is pretty amazing, especially with her instant damage. But she almost has to be paired with Audi or Priscilla, or someone that's just going to reduce her cooldowns, because she has insanely long cooldowns, and if her cooldowns are up more often, she'd be doing a lot more damage. The sky is the limit as far as Yuria goes. Now, one thing I did not mention much in this run was that our girl Jane is absolutely insane right now. It's actually crazy. Um, I think I mentioned it earlier, but I am going to do a playthrough I'm not sure who I'm going to have on my team, but it's going to be a magical team. And I can say for one thing is for certain that Jane will be the tank on the team. Because she, like, not only the, back, well, let me, let me rephrase this. Back in the day, I had some issues with Jane and her survivability. That has completely been since, uh, completely erased. Not only that, she provides just like an insane amp. I think she can get up to a total of like 200% or something as far as her magic amp goes. And not only that, just her survivability has just been upped. It's just crazy. She's absolutely crazy. So if you have a magical, magical teams rejoice. Jane is the savior of magical teams as far as the tanking department goes. And is the best tank overall, hands, hands down, for magic teams at the moment of making this video. As you can see, uh, Yuria just used her ability there and just chunked the boss down. Um... But just due to her limited amount of targets that can be hit and her long cooldowns, uh, it just kind of, uh, I, w I think I'm going to be using Yuria in my run through. Uh, however, I'll definitely be pairing up with Adi and potentially Lucicula as well. We just lost Estelle, so hopefully we can still do this. Um, but another thing is um, that, yeah, so both Yuria and Jane are insane and then Grimmery is also pretty awesome as well. As you can see, she's starting to creep up a little bit. I didn't use her 5-star weapon or the level 100 in this video, um, but she's still doing pretty amazing for where she's at right now, so she's awesome as well. Um, but yeah, uh, I am going to do this uh, series where I could be completely free to play uh, throughout my journey. I know I've done an account overview prior to the... Um, anniversary starting on my channel already however i kind of wailed out on that account and i would rather not um cover that because i don't want to encourage you know people to spend beyond their means or anything like that so i'm going to create a full free-to-play journey and um yeah let's let's do it up but as you can see we went ahead and we were able to complete chapter 9-23 we're not going to go to galgoria um as i don't think that uh yuria will be able to just damage anything, um, you know, or be able to kill stuff fast enough in Chapter 10. So what we'll do is we'll jump into the counter view, overview, and then, uh, yeah, we'll finish it off. Alrighty, everyone, and here we are, and I'll just quickly cover all of the stuff I've been using this run. Uh, for this run specifically, I decided to farm up a little bit more XP than usually, so just keep that in mind. We'll just uh, kind of glimpse over all the gear here real quick. I'm not sure if this is the best unique treasure for Yuria. In fact, I don't think it is, to be 100% honest with you. Um, I just kind of used it because I was just testing some stuff out, especially with her skill 1 being changed and how it ignores defense. I just kind of wanted to see um, what we were working with. 
So I don't believe that Unique Treasure is the best for Yuria, just to give all of you a heads up. Um, but yeah, Jane's absolutely insane. If, if I had to take away one thing from this video is that Yuria is going to be an awesome, I believe, like sub-DPS or potentially like boss killer uh, for the magical teams, uh, especially when paired up and her cooldowns are being able to re be reduced. And then also Jane's just, both of them are just crazy. They had such a good update, and I'm so excited to see that because magical teams rejoice. Um, magic has been kind of lacking behind uh, physical as of late, especially with like Estelle being physical as well, right after Shockman. Uh, it's kind of a slap in the face to magical teams. So um, I'm excited to see magical getting some love, and I have a feeling that the new character will be magical as well, hopefully. Um, but yeah, like I said, y'all, I will be creating a uh, free-to-play journey with Yuria and Jane, and I'm not sure who else I'll have on the team, um, but I think that may be my next video series, as well as we're going to hop into some mid-game videos as well, just so you guys can uh, have some tips and tricks for the mid-game as well, right after you beat Chapter 9-23. So without further ado, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Gaishin Gamer, signing out.